Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl as most of you know and uh, this particular video is going to be discussing some of what you see here in front of you which is uh, some construction ideas that I came up with and I do want to point out that I got the ideas from this and uh, it was from the person selling these particular stickers that you see here. As a matter of fact it was uh, this sticker, this sticker, this sticker, this one the slow one with the little minifig, this road close sign. Anyway, uh, what it was is I was recently contacted by somebody on Amazon uh, wanting me to kind of review and look at some of the sets that they made. And and with that being said, uh, let's see if you can kind of get a good view of it. This is the actual set that uh, I was sent to take a look at, which I've modified into what you see here in front of you. Uh, what I did is I took a lot of, because this was the original uh, construction cones that uh, came with the set, and this is what I ended up making myself because I thought they were much more decorative. Uh, but anyway, most of the stuff that comes with these sets is official Lego because everything that is in this particular part of the build right here is official Lego. And all of this minus the antenna is official Lego. And that was for the road sign that came with the particular set that I received. Uh, but the rest of the pieces, which are all the flags, the little uh, headlight brick, we'll call it, I guess, or modified brick with stud on the side, and also the plates, which I didn't show you on that, uh, are all non-Lego pieces. The rest of the set is official Lego, but a lot of it is unofficial Lego. Um, and that kind of bothered me because I am more of a fan of wanting to make everything work with official Lego. So if I was to actually use his particular sets, I would have had to have uh, take away this because this is all official Lego pieces and put his little pieces on here like that and then put the tiles that he had on top of it. And I just didn't like that. But the stickers that came with the set were just absolutely phenomenal and I just felt I needed to absolutely figure out a way to put them to use uh, for example because this is part of the set mind you the original way that the set comes uh, at least the pieces that were included with the sample that I received you don't even have this 2x4 uh, plate that comes with it so what I did is I took an official Lego fence piece and used a 2x4 Lego plate with some jumper bricks on the back side of it and I modified the road close sign into what you see now in front of you so again uh, these sets were offered to me like I said they were free uh, and I just I, I took them and I changed them and I have now made them into what you see now. Uh, these are sold by Custom Toys and Hobbies. And I have to say, uh, the only sticker I didn't use was his little aeroboard sticker. Uh, but I have to say, his stickers are, in my opinion, top quality and top notch. Because uh, I, I couldn't be happier with how everything's turned out now that I've modified it. Uh, the thing is, is like I said, if you would want these particular stickers, you do have to buy the entire set, which is what you see in this particular image here. And I will be putting a link in the description uh, if you are interested in purchasing this set from Amazon and from this particular seller, which is Custom Toys and Hobbies, uh, in the link in the description of this video and also in the comments area of this video as well. But anyway, now that we are looking at what I've done with it, I'm personally much happier with the end results now. And the next thing I want to do is, and mind you, this is some very simple items. Even this is extremely simple item. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to make this, and my camera does not want to focus on anything up close. I want to show you how to make this construction cone. I want to show you how to make this construction cone. And I'm also going to make a video on how to make this particular uh, Aero board. Let's scoot this to the side a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit better on what I'm talking about. Uh, the arrow board I'm extremely happy with. I think it's a very good looking piece. And what it is is I made it so in the manner of fashion, fashion uh, as I do work in the construction industry we will say, and I accidentally popped the tow bar off. Uh, and this is pretty much how it is. What it is is the ones that we typically use when I'm working. Um, they don't all have it, but this particular unit, I made it in a, in a manner and fashion to where it would have an onboard generator. This would be the gas tank that would hold the fuel for the onboard generator. 
which you can't see it because the cover's closed. And I didn't worry about trying to add all the details because I thought just doing it this way looked good enough. But the, the main thing I wanted to touch on is what I liked about this is once you get it to your construction site, you can sit and push down the bars here. And now it, it can't move, it can't, it can't jump, it can't swing, which again is like an actual construction uh, site arrow board. And I really thought that was a really extremely nice added touch, uh, at least my personal <laughs> opinion anyway. But anyway, now if, uh, if any of these items do interest you, uh, please stay tuned. Continue watching the video because now we are going to start the construction portion of the video.
And that is the end of the instructional portion of this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, the if you wanted to buy that actual set to get all of the stickers that I originally showed you at the beginning of the video, um, that set I believe is like 23 24 or something like that dollars. I'm not exactly sure, but again, I will be putting a link in the description of the video for that. Uh, I do want to point out that this minifig does come with the set, and so does the one yellow or uh, white fence sign. Uh, again, I will show you a quick picture. This is the items that come with the set. Like I said, it, it's a cute set. I didn't think it was bad. I loved the stickers in the set. It's just me personally. Uh, I like the items that I created better. Uh, specifically, I love my uh, cones that I came up with. I think they are more suiting and more realistic to the actual parts themselves. So anyway, as always, I thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. If you get a chance, go check out my merch shop as I have some really great prices on t-shirts and coffee mugs. Uh, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.